Welcome back to the channel and today in Trail Makers, I want to attempt to create a submersible helicopter or more realistically a helicopter slash submarine transformer that can transform between helicopter mode and then submarine mode but using essentially the same method of propulsion which is uh, propellers. So I just built this really quick, just to test proof of concept to see if this video was even doable. And I just have these propellers here set to um, go in opposite directions. So you can see it's viable as a helicopter, which I already knew, but I wasn't 100% sure how they would function underwater. And fortunately for the purposes of this video, you can see that they do seem to function underwater, although water underwater just has a lot more resistance in the air, so the effect is very, very much dampened. <laughs> Pun not intended. Dampened because they're underwater and dampened because of uh, less. But anyway, as you can see, it works underwater too, the same method of propulsion. So now I need to create a way for this thing to fly like a helicopter when it is, uh, when it is not in the water and then transition and be able to control itself underwater once it actually does get underwater. So now the main thing I'm thinking about this is that um, the helicopter, you kind of want the propellers to be on top, but for a submarine, you kind of want the propellers to be either in the back or in the front could work. I think the front is going to feel more natural because the the uh, propellers are going to be pulling away from the center of the vehicle. So if you want the vehicle to go forward, we want that force to be in the front of the vehicle. So I think the easiest way to do this is to put these propellers on a rotating arm that is going to allow it to transition from the top of the vehicle down to the front of the vehicle. All right, so what I'm working on first is the transition mechanism for the propellers, because no matter what the rest of our vehicle looks like, we're going to have to need the propellers to be mobile and be able to transition from the top to the front. All right, here we go. So let's see if I have my dimensions right here. If I press shift, oh, that is perfect. Look how it just goes, oh, actually, there's technically a collision up there, but it seems to be not impacting things at all. So now we've got helicopter mode. And then we've got vertical helicopter mode. <laughs> this doesn't really like, doesn't transition the, the propellers because they have the wind resistance. It just transitions the, uh, the body. But I have no other controls right now, but this actually does kind of look pretty cool, doesn't it? You know what, now I, I realize I don't think I'm building a submersible helicopter anymore. I think I'm building a flying submarine, <laughs> but I think submersible helicopter sounds cooler. Now it's a matter of figuring out the rest of this and have it work in both forms. I don't know if this is gonna be easy or hard is the thing. So in lieu of a swashplate mechanism that most normal helicopters have to control their roll and pitch and various other things, um, I do not have that complex of a control system here. So I am gonna be relying on uh, the servos to do the reaction wheel uh, type of control, I think for my roll and my pitch. I might try to supplement it with some uh, control surfaces using aerodynamic pieces. At least it'll help a lot underwater, I think. All right, so now I'm running into a problem that I thought I was going to run into, and if this is where the troubleshooting is going to come into play. It's the balancing the lift and the mass in both forms. So I'm trying to add control surfaces so I can have, like, uh, my pitch with the tail from the back here, especially when I'm underwater, and then my roll with these fins on the front. And I've had to modify the transition mechanism. Um, I got rid of one of the bars so that it doesn't interfere with these servos right here. But I have the issue, this, this changes my center of mass a lot. Um, so when I fly right now though, my center of lift is way up front and then it just flips me back. Um, and then when I'm in like, <laughs> when I'm in, I actually kind of fly like a plane in this mode, which is like, might as well just be a plane sub at this point. But in submarine mode, um, it's actually not too bad. I think it's almost like as good as it can be uh, for submarine mode here. I do not have like yaw with this, which um, for a helicopter, the yaw is gonna be super important, but for the sub, the yaw is not nearly as important. I might need to have some assistance for thrust just because the underwater, the underwater environment is so unforgiving when it comes to the water resistance. But I'm gonna do some experiments with some fine tuning here. I'm gonna add a weight to the front here to see how that makes. Yeah, see, this is just not doing well. <laughs> this is not doing well at all in helicopter form. But if I move the propellers back, 
Then I have to change the dimensions of the of the uh, transformation. But let's let's give it a try then. Yeah, cause see, this isn't gonna work now because I don't actually have the ability really to make this much longer, and I don't have enough. I don't have more body down here to extend the uh, the the bars with. So now, now that happens. All right, I've actually managed to overcome that by putting this L shape here, um, but it does have another side effect. Now the propellers don't go as far down, so now my center of thrust isn't the same in the submarine form, but let's see if this helps in the helicopter form. Oh, it does. Um, the weight actually might not even be is necessary in the front anymore. All right, how's this feel? Actually, not too bad. And you know what? I don't even have any servos right now. This is actually not bad at all, considering the lack of controls. This is pretty good. All right, so then when I transition, how does this feel? This actually feels pretty good too, as far as uh, the center goes. I've created like, a, almost like an Osprey thing, but with a single stack of propellers instead of the double stack on both sides. All right, and then if I transition into submarine form here, whoops, how does this feel underwater? I mean, I definitely lack speed underwater. That's like one of the big things. Ooh, you know what? I could, I, this might actually add, oh no. Oh wait, I might have room. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna have room. Is these underwater propeller uh, things that are specifically designed for underwater? Oh man, I don't have room. I was thinking if I put them on the side of the helicopter up here, they could actually look like the uh, like the intakes on the sides uh, of the helicopters, but it gets in the way of the mechanism, so it's not going to work out very well. I'm almost wondering what happens if I change the, uh, the pathway of this. Let's see what this one does. All right, that's pretty much the same. Excellent. But does that leave me enough room? Where can I now put this? All right, I can put it right there. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, I can't move it forward by one. All right, that works, maybe. See how it flies. All right, that looks pretty good. Lean forward. Let's turn ourselves. All right, and now in submarine mode, once we get down, whoops, into the ocean. Oh yeah, now, well, actually, well, now it's terrible. <laughs> they're, the the uh, underwater propellers are way above my center of mass, so they're just causing a complete downturn. And these things do look really nice aesthetics-wise, but uh, they completely ruin our underwater <laughs> uh, propulsion, which is ironic because they're that's why I put them there in the first place. Oh, wait, is this a different issue? Oh, hold on. No, this is a different problem. I changed something in a bad way. That's why there's actually a force being applied Right where the bars, uh, the bars from the helicopter, when they swing forward, they are now hitting the servos for my roll. You can see the collision happening there, and that is applying a force downwards. When I change, when I change the bars to make room for the, uh, the underwater propellers, that is what ruined it. Because the bars used to be here, which gave them room. Okay, so let me just modify this. Alright, that should actually fix the problem. All right, now let's see how it feels. All right, so this goes up, no problem. I like helicopter mode still. Let's get under the water. Oh, that was it. That was actually it. I'm gonna add these back. I'm not gonna be able to have them as far forward as before. So they're gonna stick right there, which is a little awkward, but it still doesn't look bad. All right, here we go. So now, you know what? This isn't bad. They add a little bit. They add the slightest amount, like maybe two kilometers an hour or two miles per hour in miles per hour right now the only thing is our submarine sinks i might want to add some buoyancy but it might actually mess up my attachment points actually it is going to completely mess up my attachment points i wanted to delete this but this buoyancy control device only has attachment points on one side so that ruins everything all right now everything is attached there's a little bit of buoyancy that's probably not going to be nearly enough though to um to counteract the weight of this thing underwater but let's see how it feels underwater i mean it's not nothing i don't like how that looks though it looks pretty bad i just wish it was a little bit faster underwater but considering our propellers here there's a lot of resistance to get through all right i'm gonna do an experiment here uh i'm just gonna make some more modifications some more fine tuning See if I can get this thing to be a little bit better. All right, I've done some more work on this thing. It is a little bit better as far as just general flying and balance goes. Um, 
The big obstacle is just getting speed underwater takes a lot of aerodynamics and uh, thrust like power improvements. And I cannot really do that without ruining the aesthetic of this thing. So I think I'm gonna keep it the way it is now. One of the big improvements I made was um, underneath the main rotor there, you can see that there is, I did add a servo just to give me yaw which is super helpful in helicopter form to just be able to turn in place. Um, but you can see we've got some pretty decent control in helicopter form. And then I will transition into sub form. And the fun part is actually transitioning back out into helicopter form. So there we go. Now we're in sub form. Uh, this is where the underwater propellers help us on the sides there a little bit. We have a max speed of about 13 miles per hour. I did add some buoyancy. You can see I can um, I can take away my, my buoyancy by expelling all the air out of the DCDs, or I can fill them back up. Honestly, we still do sink a little bit if I don't do anything, but it does help cancel out a little bit of the uh, of the pull towards the bottom of the ocean. But it's enough for us that we can actually, we can we can gain altitude or uh, depth to underwater, underwater altitude. <laughs> we can go fast enough to reach the surface. And then once we reach the surface like this, we transition back into helicopter form and pull ourselves right out of the water. Let's take this thing in for a landing, see if we can actually land this thing. I thought about giving this thing some landing gear, but that's just gonna make the underwater version even that much worse. Um, but here, let's see here. We can just settle down just like that. Okay, that, yeah, wait, what, what are you doing? All right. Apparently, this is how it wants to settle down. Wait, what if I do this? There we go, and then do that. There we go. All right, so to put this thing to the test, let's give it a real mission here. Um, there's this part of the islands over here. Uh, there looks like there's a pool of water. I don't know if there's a submarine-based area I can like go through. But let's fly the helicopter up over this mountain. Let's lower ourselves down into the water, transition in the submarine form, see if we can ex escape this lagoon, if that's what we want to call it, and then uh, transition back out of the water and then land back on the aircraft carrier. That is our mission. All right, we are lifting off for our, our main test mission to see the viability of the submersible helicopter and or flying submarine. I am actually pretty happy with this performance as a helicopter. It does feel, it feels like it has decent controllability and decent speed. I'm very, I'm very easily able to make it go where I want it to go. But that's going to be put more to the test here. Uh, once we get to the spot where we're going to have a lot more of a tighter space to work with. Where is this? All right. Oh, there we go. It's more over in this direction. Oh boy. This is going to be harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I'm already past it. Wait, what? This is really, uh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I just gotta get down into there. This is weird. This is not what I thought it was. It's more open down there than I thought. It's just like, it's it's really crowded up here. All right, lowering altitude with the helicopter is actually a bit of the sketchy thing. All right, so this is not nearly as cool of a mission as I thought. I thought this was enclosed down here in the water, but nope, it's just pretty open around here. There must be an area that I can kind of drop in from above though. All right, now I see it. We got to do this bridge over here. There's a bridge that has a, uh, a drop point. Here we go. This is our mission. All right, yeah, yep, this is it right here. So we got a bridge right here, and you can see on the other side of the bridge, there is a little pool of water. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought it was. Okay, this is actually going to be kind of tough. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I got control. This is a helicopter. Okay, 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 okay. All right, here's the yaw. There we go. All right, drop into the water. There we go, transition into sub mode. And then we go underneath the bridge. I don't know why we couldn't be in sub mode on the other side, but this is just the mission that I gave myself to demonstrate controllability and functionality of uh, what this was designed for. All right, good. And then we come out. Oh, that was a beautiful transition. That felt really satisfying. That made me so happy. All right, and flying over the water like this, this is actually really satisfying too. Like now it feels like, I feel like I have so much speed compared to the underwater version. This is awesome. All right, but back to the carrier we go. You know what, I'm gonna do one more submarine transition. There we go. I mean, the submarine form is definitely not its most agile, but it is fully functional. Does the yaw work too? Yep, the yaw works underwater as well. All right, let's get back out. I wanna do another one of those transitions because it was so fun. 
That is so good. I love that transition. All right, now let's land this thing, see if I can do another good landing. Uh, right in this landing zone. The spawn area. Okay, slow down. Here we go. Okay, and... There we go. Little, little rocky, but no damage, and we survived. Look at that. The, what do we call this thing? The Submersicopter, Submacopter, Helamarine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you call this thing. Leave a comment down below on what you think the best name for a submersible helicopter slash flying submarine would be. I think it works pretty well. And, uh, yeah, funny thing is, actually, it doesn't really work in the air in the submarine mode, which is good. Like, I was worried that it could just be as good of a plane, but no, the fact that it has to be either a helicopter or a submarine, I mean, you can kind of do this, but it's just not very graceful. But yeah, like I guess I think this was an overwhelming success. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.